Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it's uh, December 11th of 2017. I've received a couple of notices that I was going to get a new PayPal business debit card. And it just arrived. And you can see I'm showing you the front of the card. <clears throat> There's no number on the front of the card, by the way, just a name. Uh, they've moved the number for security reasons to the back of the car card. I don't think that really matters to me, but that's what they've done. This isn't, this card, as you can, well, see this has a chip on it. This is the best I could find to pull up over here, and it doesn't have the chip. And it also has the number on the, uh, has the numbers on the front. Anyway, this is the best I could pull up here. I couldn't pull up the information on on this. So I just received it. I haven't activated it yet. Uh, it says uh, your card has a new account number, credit card expiration date, and a new security code. So it says activate your card. But because it has new um, a new number and the code, it says you're going to have to update all your merchants. So I'll have to... Uh, have to take care of that. I've had this card for a long, a long time. It uh, talks about over here on the screen being a prepaid card. I never thought of it as being a prepaid card, but I guess it is because, you know, I, I've set it up where if I don't have the money in, you know, the account, in the PayPal account, it just goes ahead and takes the money out of my uh, checking account. So, um, but anyway, uh, if you have one of these cards, I've had one for years. So, and I got an update fairly recently. So I was thinking that this was some sort of a mistake when I got the email. No, I think it came through the mail actually saying that they, I was going to be getting a new card, and I thought, uh, I think I already got the new card. But no, this is a new card. It uh, has added security by the, but the old card had what appeared to be the security. They'd sent a, a card not long ago that had that chip. This chip looks a little bit different. And they say, we've moved your card number to the back of the card, so it's easier to shield from prying eyes. Uh, also, I don't remember if the other, I've, I've never used uh, any card where I uh, tap. It says, uh, because when I got the, my, you know, the government required all the card people, banks or whatever, to go with these chips. And so around here, uh, more in the beginning, it was, they would have the machine and there would be a, sometimes be a sign underneath, you know, the chip thing doesn't work yet. You have to stripe or whatever. Um, I think maybe now all of them, I'm not sure, have gone to it, to the uh, inserting the chip in. in. Uh, so anyway, added security with the chip, uh, moved the card number to the back. Now you can do a quick tap at checkout displaying a MasterCard PayPass logo. Uh, reliable access. If a card terminal doesn't accept the card chip or contact payment, you can still use the magnetic stripe as before. So that's it. I'm going to activate this card here in a little bit. Wanted to mention my, since I've got you here, my new camera. I really haven't, uh, I've taken a few more pictures and uh, I haven't even looked at me yet on the computer. I haven't tried to install the app yet. I um, haven't really looked at the manual that, that well to learn everything. So I have, a, I have a lot to learn about the camera and about taking pictures and the video. 
you saw a little video the other day. I'm, and I think I put, the, I think was it a five minute video or I think it was a five minute video. And it took me, was it, was it an hour and a half or two and a half hours to upload it because it was 4K. I just don't see any advantage to me right now making 4K videos, except if I'm making videos uh, in 4K, then I render them uh, to 1080p, then uh, is that, do we know what that is? Looks like a bed. Oh, okay, that's Dar's bed. So, uh, I'll help you in a little bit, Jimmy, whenever you decide to do it. Uh, so I, but the advantage is apparently if you make a 4K video, then you render it 1080p. For us who are, don't have 4K monitors or whatever, when you look at the, the 1080p, the detail, the video is much better. So anyway, I do need to spend time learning how to use this new camera. Let me turn it on. It is pretty neat. I'm I see you. Pretty neat. The viewfinder is really excellent too. Really neat looking through the viewfinder. Okay, thank you very much for watching.